Hello everyone and welcome back. This is the Losers Round 3 matchup between Scrambles and Bell, aka Pastel. The chooser of this map was Scrambles. He's over here in the blue as the Hojo. Bell is over there in the red as the Mori. And I've been drinking fairly, he fairly heavily tonight because the Blues just advanced to round two in the NHL playoffs. So I'm a little drunk, so you have to excuse me if that comes out. But I've been getting a little lazy on these matches, so definitely need to upload one tonight. A look at the matchup. It's going to be a very interesting match because Bell doesn't have any bow cavalry. At least none when I saw when I did my quick sweep. And Scrambles has a lot of Naginatas. It's like half Naginatas at four of them and four to Katana Samurai. we got two bow monks over there and all of his cavalry is over here on this side. So this will be a very interesting battle. Over here for Bell, she has in her melee line a front of three Nodachis and three Katanas. There's also a Katana Hero and a Yari Samurai over here, and of course a Kishu Ninja up here. You gotta know Bell. Either she'll have bow cavalry or she'll have Kishu Ninjas, or both. So here we are at New Azamba, and let's think about how the armies are gonna work in this, this map, because this map generally takes a long time before the units come together, so I get to talk about a lot of different things in being in this match, so. Who's going to have the advantage here in the army? Bell has a decent amount of cavalry and so does Scrambles. It's going to be hard to say who's going to have the cavalry advantage there. We see two Yaris and a Katana there. Here's another light cavalry for Bell. Some Yari cavalry off in the distance there and some more light cavalry. No great guards. As you can see, like I say, the Katana hero inspires the friendly units of the same type. And you can see that now uh, since they changed it on the minimap. They have these circles here. And so you can see their actual morale radius that they give to friendly units. So over here, you know, I actually don't like this about the new maps, how the buildings are randomized. I think that's really, really dumb, if I can be honest. Uh, I'd rather that they work on the maps and actually think about what buildings make sense and how to balance them out. Because look at this. Bell's going to have the shrine, awesome building, second best in my opinion. And what does Scrambles get? The farmhouse. That's just great. I'd rather they think about it and say, hey, we'll have one side have the workshop and one side have the sword dojo. That makes sense, right? They're balanced in that way, but not anymore because they're random. I think it's really dumb. I'm sorry, but it is. Oh, Kisho Ninja for Scrambles is coming out now. This battle was sent to me by Bell, so there may be some things in hiding for Scrambles, who is a designated attacker on this map. And what a great map choice it was. I love Numazawa. It's such a great map. There's potential for almost anything to happen here. There's even some hills up on this side, this round hill right here. But there's a lot of wide open plains, but this lake here in the middle just totally changes the dynamic. Because it splits the armies in half as one side usually concedes a building that's on the other side of the lake. And so it gets sort of even. Though this side, the bell side, has a little bit of an advantage because they can get this archery dojo. And the army on this side would have to come across these shallows here to get to it. So I think it's a little unbalanced that way. I'd rather if there weren't a building here in the middle because I think it's a little unbalanced to have it there, but not a huge factor. Let's take a look at the cavalry component here for Scrambles. He brought some bow cavalry. It's interesting, he brought some, but Bell did not. And he should really be trying to push some sort of skirmishing here because he has a big skirmish advantage. Come to think of it, Bell doesn't have any bows whatsoever. Now that is not very characteristic of Bell. He has a big melee component with a katana hero. That's just very surprising going against a player like Bell. Now I, he was moving through the trees here. I don't know if Scrambles saw the katana hero yet. She seems to be taking care to keep him hidden in the trees, so maybe he hasn't yet. It'd be a pretty big card to pull right at the end. Interestingly, a Naginata Samurai and a Kisho Ninja are trying to capture this building. It looks like he's not hidden anymore. I'd imagine that since this is from Bell's perspective, and we can see him, that he's not hidden, so this building will not be captured. Definitely going to be a lot more important for Scrambles to get this building, as is the Archery Dojo, and he has a lot of ranged units, and Bell does not have any ranged units whatsoever, unless you count the Kisho Ninja, which has a bomb that he can throw, but I don't think the Archery Dojo really affects that at all. So both sides are sort of squaring off here. They've captured the buildings on their respective sides. Bell has a little bit of a building advantage, which, when I made the rules, I mean, I always put casual buildings on because it deters camping. But now that they're randomized, it's not as easy of a decision because you can have these situations where one side gets the shrine and the other gets the farmhouse on every map. Now some of the maps they were programmed like that, and I didn't think that was a big deal. We still only a couple maps, so now that's basically on every map. So I'm just not sure about that. She's got a Naginata Samurai up in front to take the brunt of the arrow strikes if Scrambles doesn't micro and individually order his bows, which is surprisingly common. We'll have to see if Scrambles actually takes the time to 
individually order instead of just hitting the 9 out of Samurai which have the highest armor. And again, I believe their ace base armor is 9. I don't have the unit cards turned on right now because they're a little... Uh, they get in the way a little bit, but... Ooh, these nine guys samurai could reach the bows. If she can take out the skirmish order here, that'd be huge because I think she has an infantry advantage if she can take out these bows. It can come to scrambles bow usage and cavalry usage. And actually, ooh, I wish I could have seen the micro here. I didn't realize there was a battle going on right here, but there go the cavalry for scrambles. Two units gone. That might be all of his melee cavalry. He has the two bow cavalry up on the hill. That might have been all of his melee cavalry. Bell has a huge cavalry component, but being Numazawa, she has a long way to go if she wants to get all the way around. Now, bombs going off as well. <coughs> Into the max center. Probably done more harm than good there in making the match locks route immediately, and the Yari cavalry just can come and clean them up. So, Bell takes a big uh, victory on that side. Naginata is doing a good job of tanking, and the, the bombs doing a pretty good job as well. Who's even throwing those bombs? Must be one of Scramble's Kisho Ninjas. I don't see a Kisho Ninja anywhere near except, you know, on this side. Throwing into the Bow Warrior Monks, which is... A, actually, that's the Blinding Grenade. It's actually a decent idea, because that's one of the advantages he has that Bell doesn't. So taking out the advantages is a good way to analyze the enemy force and get yourself in a position to win. Find out what they have that's stronger than yours and take it out. Bow Cavalry's been caught here. Scramble's just caught on his micro and just getting cut down here on this side. The Kisho Ninja are going to fall shortly. Bow cavalry is not even being microed out there. There goes one. The other is soon to be swarmed on. And all of his infantry is close together. In fact, you know, Bell at this point does not even have to go all the way around. There's this huge open area here. If she can get around this building right there, she'd be able to just take out the infantry. Katana hero right in the middle would be amazing. A Nodachi samurai taking on Nagina. Did not get off good charge. As this Nagina samurai is still at 115 men. But it's interesting. Where is the Katana hero at right now? There he is, right in the middle. A katana hero right in this big bunch of men would be huge. Could just pin that entire component down, and the cavalry would be able to come in and clean up no problem. Kishin Ninja holding his own as well against the Naginata Samurai and the Bow Warrior Monks. Bow Warrior Monks down to 33 men, taking quite a few casualties. And there's a katana hero running in. It's about time. That's exactly where you want a katana hero, right in the thick of things. No Dashi Samurai, not going to get off a very good charge here into this katana samurai. But big time in Bell's favor. The weak, a little weak, though, in the middle where the general could get hit. But Scrambles is not going to be able to get any good charge or any sort of good engagement off. And his, his units are split up all over the place. And look at this big hole for the cavalry to run into. Light cavalry and Yari cavalry can go in there no problem. This Katana hero, where is he at? There he is. Still fighting. And Scrambles units are just so spread out and disorganized. This should be an easy cleanup for the cavalry if they can come in. Oh, look at all that weight. Mass wavering along the Katana line. One unit's gone. Through two, three, three units gone that quickly. And it looks like Bell will be able to clean this up, no problem. Bow Cavalry moving around, but not going to make any difference at this point, as it looks like Bell is just going to smash through this infantry line, no problem, and take game one on Scramble's home turf. But it's not over yet. Fire arrow going into the dense packed, mm -hmm. densely packed units here. But don't think that's going to do much good. Now, he doesn't have any swords left. They're all Naginatas, and Bell has plenty of Katanas, and some at full strength. At least two. Two are at full strength. So got the Katana Hero at 23 men. This Katana Center is at 98. Should be able to plow through these Naginatas, no problem. Especially if a cavalry would get around to the rear, which they're still kind of stuck back here in the uh, the backside of the engagement. Bow cavalry coming in to try and get a charge, but looks like this Yari Samurai here, who has advanced rapidly on. Big reason why I prefer Yari Samurai to Yari Ashigaru. Can be able to cut that out really quickly. Light Cavalry is wavering there. Yari Cavalry, pretty much most of Bell's Cavalry is, is pretty well beat up. And where's her general, in fact? There he is, 22 men. Have to be careful not lose the general, even though it's pretty well in Bell's control right now. You'd hate to have something like that come in and screw everything up. Katana Samurai, excuse me, not the uh, Naginaz here, 26 men. Surprisingly holding quite well for having only 26 men. But Bell is in, really in control here, just... Uh, Scrambles just had a very disorganized attack. It's, it can be very problematic if your line gets split up and if they can get around the back there and just take them out in those little chunks that we saw in that cavalry attack. It was pretty easy for Bell to clean up. Naginata Samurai, 48 men, and still in green morale though. This Naginata Samurai pretty much just guarding the general and the katana hero is going to be able to come in here and probably take out this Naginata unit single-handedly. That's what heroes do. 
dropping those Naginatas like flies. Bow Cavalry coming in as well. Ten men. There they go. They broke. They're gone though. The Bow Monks are still shooting as well. Finally getting Katana Cavalry over there to shut them up. Units breaking all over. There's only three units left on the field for scrambles. And Belle looks like she's going to take a convincing Game 1 victory going into her home turf, which is always strong. Especially a player like Belle, who has very specific strategies she likes to follow and knows exactly what maps benefit her. Maps like Shinano River. Probably the best map for her playstyle with the skirmishing, but also maps like Forest Goalie. Anything that's missile-oriented, I mean, her micro and patience are so good, she can take you out. So it's not looking good for scrambles right now. Let's we'll see if he can pull out a big victory in Game 2, though. All that's left is the general and stand and fight. 29 men, and the Katana Hero is just kind of running in here to take out the last of Scrambles. And they have broken, though, so it looks like that's the end of the game. Bell for the Mori taking game number one. The Mori Clan making a strong stand in recent games. We'll see how that holds up going into game two. I'll see you back in the main menu for a little bit of post-game commentary. And there you have it, Bell taking game number one. Lost a lot of forces, though, but Scrambles lost more, which is going to be the deciding factor there. And Bell just had a very good attack there and, and baited Scrambles out. And it, it's it's hard to stay under control when you're under a good attack, uh, but it seems like Scrambles panicked a little bit and just had a really disorganized attack, and Bell was able to come in and take out those little chunks no problem with her big cavalry unit. Unfortunately for Scrambles, losing all of his cavalry there was really bad. Uh, if he could have kept those alive, he could have sandwiched Bell pretty easily in that little choke point, but it was not to be. And Bell, just a nice convincing win there from a great player on Game 1. We'll see how Scrambles can fare in Game 2 on Bell's home turf. Should be exciting. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching, everybody.